Are you okay? I just, I've been having these nightmares. I keep seeing myself die over and over. I don't know, it's probably just, just my subconscious freaking out about the future or something. My beautiful Sapphix, today I want to put you guys into a new movie called Jagged Mine. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't understand how you're single, I gotta say. <laughs> well, actually, I, I was engaged for a while. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What happened? Well, she thought we weren't right for each other. This is going to be a quick video because I can't dive deep into the film without giving you any major spoilers and I don't want to do that. The movie starts with Alex flirting with Billy at the bar. Billy is receptive, but despite Alex's pleas to stay, she ultimately leaves to attend a work event. Hey, should we go somewhere else? Well, this has been a really nice surprise. But I do kind of have a work thing. And okay. I just, I, I do have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. It is very, very bad luck to open a bottle of wine and not finish it. And I'm just only telling you this for your own personal safety. Oh, really? Mm hmm Well, I'm already feeling pretty lucky. At the event, Billy hooks up with her ex-girlfriend. While making out with her, Billy feels she is fainting and she passes out. When she wakes up, she's back at the bar flirting with Alex with no memory that this has happened before. Well, I've been getting these blackouts occasionally, and I'm starting to think that they're becoming a little bit more frequent. And then when they come, I just lose all sense of place and time. And uh, yeah, when I come to, I just, I'm left with this really strange sense of deja vu. Billy becomes convinced that she's trapped in a time loop. She then meets Rose, a photographer who knows exactly what she's going through and asks her to remember. Excuse me, Rose, it's Billy. Hey, congratulations on your opening. It was such an honor to present your work. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you to say. Uh, but actually, I have to be going now, so. When Billy starts dating Alex, she starts suffering more and more often blackouts and strange visions that feels like she's living the same moments of her life over and over. The blackouts, the headaches, they're only getting worse, right? You know about my illness? How, how can you Listen. know about my illness? Just try to remember. Just try. This new queer slash horror movie offers a new fresh twist on the time loop trope. In this case, the power to repeat time is used for romance, but there is nothing cute, funny, or romantic about it. The film has a similar structure to a video game, where Billy's progression in the story is saved as her relationship with Alex grows. Why? Why would you do all this? Why? Because we're meant to be together. Every time you leave me, you tell me that we're not right for each other, and you're wrong. Let's be honest, nothing screams more happy pride like an emotionally abusive lesbian who gaslights her girlfriend into dating her forever. And this is me being ironic. True to be told, I had high hopes for June, and I was expecting a little bit more of new queer content to celebrate our beautiful Pride Month in June. That being said, I love queer movies and surprise, surprise, horror is my favorite genre. Although I wouldn't consider this a horror movie. I'm just trying to fix the things that aren't perfect. I just want to make you happy. It was never my mom's dementia. My memory loss. That's, that's your fault. I know. It's your... But sweetie, we only have to do this a few more times. We're so close. We're so so close. It's almost done. You're gonna be so happy. That's not real, Alex. None of this. This isn't real. Please. The movie is good, entertaining, and queer as fuck. And it will leave you guessing until the very last minute. You should most definitely check the movie out and is currently available and streaming on Hulu. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. 